I have a column coming up tomorrow in the Daily Herald about the debacle that we call Jay Cutler and the misguidance of Mark Trustman. But let's talk about Mel Tucker. As great as Peanut Tillman is, and he's outstanding, he's a Pro Bowl type guy, although he's only made it once. Peanut Tillman yesterday played as good as you can, but you don't give him any over-the-top help. You don't help the guy out. Mel Tucker said basically, and today I'm listening to everybody going, well, you can't cover Brandon Marshall one-on-one, but you can cover Kelvin Johnson one-on-one? Kelvin Johnson, he's called Megatron for people that don't know, and he's the best receiver in the National Football League. But people are going to say, you know what? Well, he only had six catches for 90 yards. That's not the point. If you have a running back that has 30 yards, but he scores three touchdowns, did you really stop him? You might have, but at the end of the day, why did we lose? Because of two things. We had a quarterback that was hurt and shouldn't have been playing, and we had a defensive coordinator, Mel Tucker, who said, you know what? We have a 6'5", 250-pound wide receiver coming in. Peanut will put you on an island. It's not Revis Island, folks. It's not Peanut Island. You have to double-team this guy. And the last touchdown he scored was inexcusable. Just a bad, bad call by the defense. Uh, and you know what? They played a decent game. If they would have had a decent quarterback or somebody that was healthy, they might have won. But all this stuff in a loss comes out. You don't single cover Kelvin Johnson, Megatron, period. There's a reason he's doing commercials with Puff Daddy. He's the best in the business. Mike North, The Daily Herald.